What's up guys? We're here. We're back with the family. You know what I'm saying? Oh, bless you, baby. Can you see it? Yeah, we can see your face. Yeah, but we are back with another uh, video. So, basically today we're going to focus on talking about some of our funny memories and one in particular, specifically speaking. The old house with that crazy lady that lived upstairs, bro. Okay, I don't know if y'all remember in one of our last videos we made like a... Maybe like a couple months ago? Yeah, a, a, a video from like when we was moving. We made, if you watch to the end, we made a little comment about, you know, that lady and how crazy it was living under her. Yeah, we was moving out. We was like that crazy lady upstairs. Man, that was nuts. Shout it started out to with you though. It started with you because you was living there before me. So we just gonna jump right into it, y'all. We ain't gonna keep y'all too long. We just wanted to tell y'all this junk because it was crazy living here. It was crazy. So let me give y'all a little bit of history, all right? I'm 21, you feel me? I'm 21, I wanna uh, marry this looker right here, this beautiful looking woman. Mm, she looking around like, ooh, ooh, yeah, you so cute. But, so, I moved out of my parents' house, I got my own place, and um, yeah, everything was cool. Uh, one of my best friends helped me to move in, and uh, I moved in on the last day of the year in 2015. So the first night, yo, the first night. It was the first night? The first night. The first, I thought you said it was like, oh, okay, wow. So this is what happened. Me, my brother, and my friend so time we're, we're there playing video games. And I had my TV against the wall. And as y'all know, apartments, you know, you share them. So sometimes the noise can be a little, you know what I'm saying? But we had our TV at a moderate to volume. But living in an apartment, you already know it's community living. Like, you're not in a house. So if somebody over you, you gon' hear them. If somebody under you, you gon' hear them. Y'all stacked on top of each other. It's not like the wall soundproof. And you shouldn't be complaining. Alright, so like... Especially I'm if it ain't unreasonable. Especially if it ain't unreasonable. So, first time I hear a knock on my door. So I'm like, who is this? So I go look at the door, but I ain't know nobody. I could barely see through my peephole uh, the way it was. Hey, I wasn't living nowhere broke down. But anyway, I'm just saying, <laughs> people like be trying to was. come for me, it's, you know. I'm not. People be coming for you? I said, people will be trying to come like, why can't you see out your peephole? That's the first problem. That's I saw probably why you. I think he just needs glasses. No, no, no. The lens was dirty on the other side. So I bet. No! You know what it was? Her big old head was standing right up against that junk. She okay. So Wait, you, she came down the first she day. She came down the first day. I, and, and that was the first time. So I didn't. I thought it was somebody else who did that, like a, a person. That remember, she I told said. you I didn't know what she looked like. Uh huh. So I didn't know if that was her or not. And then like maybe she morphed into a monster while we or me and her lived together. But anyway, so I come to the door. She like this. All right, face all up in the door, and I'm like. Hi. Right. She's like, hey. I, she said, uh, I'm a neighbor from upstairs. Do you mind turning your stuff down? And I said, oh, sure, no problem. I'm thinking like, okay, maybe I am being a little loud. I couldn't really tell. Benefit of the doubt, new neighbors don't want to ruffle anything up too much. So I complied. Days went by, and when Brie would come over and spend some time with me, sometimes we would hear her stomping, and we'd be like, we didn't know at first. We weren't making assumptions, so what were we doing? We was like, what is that? Like, you hear that? And, you know, we was looking around like, is that coming from, like, outside? You know, and then we just carry on about our day. Because we, like, clearly ain't nobody going to do that. Exactly. Now he already know what's about to happen. You about to get these hands, boy. Okay, let's not sell a message of violence, dear. But you'll get these hands. You already know what to do. These hands. Nah, nah, we, 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 we. All we was doing was playing games. Like, it was crazy. We would be playing, like, okay. So can we fast forward to the first time that she stumbled while I was there? Sure. We was looking around like, what is this? And then he had to explain to me like, it must be a lady upstairs. She kind of crazy, you know? And I'm like, well, have you complained about this? Have you made any noise complaints? And that's what he actually was like, nah, I haven't. I was like, you should say complain about this. So I remember he called and then we heard like some weird sounds, like as if she was digging on our freaking ceiling. Okay, a little bit missing from that story. She was stomping on our ceiling so much to the point where we ended up getting a noise complaint. Oh yeah, it came to the freaking. So we chilling, we playing video games. 
we are like, oh, let's go out and get some pizza. He opens the door and there is like this dude just standing by the door listening to us. We was like, because he was like, oh. He was like, oh. oh. And I said, like, can we help you or something like that? And he's just like, oh, yeah, actually. So I guess there, when you have a noise complaint, there's a person that comes out that works for the community and they will listen outside the door to see if that person's complaint is valid, reasonable, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. He said he didn't hear anything unreasonable and that he was just checking and out. And it was before um, a certain hour. He said that anything before like 9.30 or 10 o'clock, you know, they don't really consider it, was it like that six. because it's like, you know, it's not late. And it, it was, was like yeah. Six so anyways... I'm feeling some type of way about this lady now. She telling a story too. What you talking about? Cause you was you wasn't even in the belly yet. You wasn't even thought of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. That's valid. Maybe you have your own story time one day. Okay. Oh my little baby. Mm. Yeah, you like that. Yo, she done called the people on me. She done called the feds. She called the people. She called the feds <laughs> on your boy. Oh, this is a whole new level of petty. So this is what started to happen with the stumps now. Because I've decided, you know what, maybe it's the way the TV's positioned, maybe it's That's that what way. the guy said. He was like, what kind of TV do you guys have? And like, and I already felt like, like bro, why do I need like, to answer this? He had told him, like, it's a Phillips. And he was like, oh, you got like an older TV. He's like, I have one too. He was like, one of the things that happened with me was that um, when I was living in a place, the guy kept complaining about my TV. And it turns out that the position that my TV was in was over... The, like his bed or something like that when I moved my TV everything was all good so, so I tried to follow suit I rearranged the whole place y'all you still talking man. I you came like to his daddy. place like five different times and that junk was like over here over there over here over there over there I'm like okay I'm maybe you just getting bored like she you just want to move me. your stuff around look at this y'all was I not talking though I'm like Rude. Rude. <laughs> How you gonna change something? <laughs> Just rude. She being a baby. I am your mother, okay? But you said, yeah, so she came by my place. I heard you though. I'm mm -hmm. see. She came by my place, everything was different. I moved the TV against the opposite wall, the couch against the opposite wall. Like moved everything around. Like I ain't trying to get no complaints no more because if you get a certain amount of complaints, they can give you a fee. So fast forward, me and Brianna are now wed. But things were really sporadic at one point. There was like nothing going on. But then when we got married, what I noticed was she started stumping again. But what was included in the stumping this time, Bree? We heard some other stuff going on. Some bleep, 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 bleep. Sensor material. So basically she was stumping on the ceiling and saying, you freaking beep, beep. And saying all these like, she was like, we, we try to keep it clean for y'all. It but was she, crazy. She was cussing, was like so calling crazy. us out our names. She ain't using no racial slurs, thank God. But I don't even know if she knew who we was. Because you know what I'm saying. like Honestly, I felt like if she knew I was black, she wouldn't have tried. I wasn't trying to say it, but there you go. So she started cussing and everything like that and getting crazy. You a-holes, you have no respect. Turn down and you acting stuff. It's not like we got like surround sound in the house and it's like a movie theater. So let me tell y'all, we would do tests. I would go stand outside, listen to it. She would go stand outside, listen to her. We couldn't hear anything through our door. Nah, nah. So what's the deal with this? Woman? And my thing is that even if she could hear a little something, you live in an apartment. Everybody knows when you live in an apartment, you probably gonna hear your neighbors, regardless. You're not in the house. You don't like hearing no neighbors? Go live in the house. So one day, right or wrong, I go up to her door. And I knock and I say, excuse me, I said, I haven't met you, but you're continually stomping on my ceiling and our things are not loud. And she goes on to disrespect me and says, you freaking a-hole, turn down your ass. And I'm like, oh, standing man. behind the door, okay, but you can't open the door? Yeah, you came to my door. You know what I'm saying? But I'm getting, uh, you didn't even come to the door. You're so you talking, her I can tell you far away. Yeah, technically, it was like the crack in the door. I was like, because I didn't know who she was. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did open the door, y'all, by the way. That, you know, whatever. But anyway, um, she did not open the door at all. She just continued to disrespect. So then I said, well, again, I've never met you formally. Uh, but if you keep stumping on my ceiling, we gonna have some problems. Last thing that happened, the final straw. Before I had my locks, my wife was too straight twisting my hair. I used to love when she did that. That junk was, you know, I used to love it. 
So in the middle of two straight twists to my hair, we watching like uh, a movie or something. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden we hear the loudest bang. I promise it sound like she jumped up and she like sat on her. Like you know somebody just dead weight like. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you know how somebody just like jump up and they just kind of just fall. Like just let all their weight hit the ground. That's what it sound like. Like or she picked up her couch and dropped it. Something. Something. You want me to take it? Yeah. All right. So it just. No, no, no. All right, so it was basically a lot, y'all. It was a lot. And so Brie looked at me like this. I did, I did. Like, that look said. You want me to do something? I was like this. I looked at her, I was like. So she got up. Give me the green light. She went up the stairs. And then I blacked out. And she blacked out, but I remember that, y'all. HD <laughs> vividly. Oh okay, Vizio. Wait, 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 no, 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 before. So, disclaimer I did go up there with good intentions. I wanted to go upstairs <laughs> and ask the lady kindly to stop stomping on my ceiling. Her face said something different. I think her mind was trying. <laughs> It was like an angel and a demon battling her. Like, love her, hate her, love her, hate her, kill her, love her, forgive her, destroy her. And so I went upstairs and I knocked on the door. And she would have gotten a nice response had she just been nice. <laughs> so she knocked on the door, or Brie knocked on the door. And I'm standing at the bottom of the stairs, go back up. And also, just in case some stuff happened, because you know people be trying to, we don't have time. Did she spit up? Did she spit up? Yeah. We'll see. Hey, y'all. Uh, <laughs> Y'all want to see what fatherhood look like? Y'all want to see what fatherhood look like? Okay. This is fatherhood. All right, cut in scene and we're done. I will catch up with Nate. <laughs> Expo. <laughs> Y'all. I can't. Y'all not going to have me. Y'all turn around right now. <laughs> so. Brianna went up there to talk to the lady. I'm standing at the bottom of the stairs for backup. She knocks on the door and she says, uh, you need to stop stomping on my ceiling. You disrespectful hell! That's the lady's response. And now she done said that to me, but she ain't never said that to my wife. <laughs> my wife don't take too kindly to disrespect. It's one thing to be shady. She can be shady. She be with you. She play the game. But if you be direct with it, Bree, let's just say Bree's language became... <laughs> As colorful <laughs> as our background, as our background, and begin to get right back with the lady. And at this point, <laughs> at this point, the lady talking, she talking, she still ain't open the door. So I run up the stairs, I grab Bree's hand, and I start pulling her down the stairs. Okay, no, not really like that. I'm like guiding her arm as to try to get her to come back down the stairs. We were on the second floor. This one was on the third floor. So I'm like, come on, babe, come on, come on. Bree is resisting me, like. She held on to the rail. She held on to the rail. She resisted me like a like a child attempting to be snatched from their mother's hand. <laughs> and I was pulling. I'm like, Bree, come on, let's go. That's how I sound. You was yelling. Uh, uh. Look, this ain't another when you messed up moment. It I is. It's gonna be all like. Anyway, so I'm pulling her down the stairs. She finally gets it down the stairs. And then close the door. Once the door closed, Bree like really came to grips with what just happened. Yeah, because it was like, oh my god, did that just happen? Because mm -hmm. it was like Brianna, and I was like, and I was just looking at her like, so many different <laughs> angles. Number one, I never seen you like that. Number two, I never seen you like that. <laughs> Number three, that was kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, girl, you never did like that before. <laughs> so to sum it up. I know where she stay. If she still stay there. And if she, she do, she still stay there with her raggedy behind. Like, it's like, if she can't handle a TV, then she's not going to be able to respect the fact that I have a new baby. And I knew, personally, I was going to be tempted to do some stuff to her if she stomped if my baby cried. And I knew that that was not going to be good. Yeah, with people. One day, this was the perfect time to be petty. She's walking in, right? 
we come in there, but you know how like you got enough window where you could let the door close and it's not rude. You could just kind of be like, oh, I just don't feel like holding the door for you. I'm going to keep going, living my life. Guess what this nice son of a gun does? Hold the door for the lady that's been pissing us off this whole time. I'm like, bruh, I would let that door slam in her face and have been like, yeah, take out your key, unlock the door and get inside of the apartment. I wanted to. She was carrying a big thing of laundry, and Who let me cares? tell y'all, this was Who the perfect cares? time to just get it. At the end of the day, what I decided to do is, I'm going to hold this door open for her, and let me see if she actually looks me in my eyes. Let me see if she actually is willing to see me as a person. Let me see what the real deal is with this lady. And she said, thank you. Didn't make no eye contact, nothing like that. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see what kind of game this is. At the end of the day, just be mindful of people that are around you. It's a shared space and environment. You know, if you're being too loud, be reasonable. But really, that wasn't us. But just make sure you tell the property uh, people right away when things are going on so that things can go back to normal and any type of issues can be handled. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's a you want to share your story? No, it's a wrap. What you got to say to the people? She said I'm done. All right, y'all. So that's our story time. Make sure you like. Comment. Subscribe and share our videos. We love you guys. We appreciate your support. Justin and Brianna. Out.